the middle of a ruthless Opelio season. The weather turned from light to dark overnight, and it's miserable. Why me? Back-to-back -back storms continue to batter the fleet. Just one of those things that makes this job one of the most deadliest jobs on the planet. Oh. Fishing's bad, weather's bad, everything's bad. We need to find something to plug away on here until this drops off. With weather slowing production. Yeah, this has been the longest trip of my life. Exhausted captains and crews. Under the gun, on the clock, tick, 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 tick. Have little choice but to push through and make up for lost time. Two hundred seventy five miles northwest of Dutch Harbor. On the one hundred seven foot saga. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't pretty. After a brief window of good weather and better numbers. That is a big, fat zero. Rookie captain Jake Anderson and relief skipper Ray Flerchinger are back to battling terrible seas and worse fishing. Every day is a challenge when you're, when you're the captain. And the unexciting part about it is everything that happens is your fault. The crowd's not cooperating. Weather is not cooperating. Whoa! Hopefully there's something. If not, we're going to have to assess, assess, and assess again our situation. Throw this one up. See what's in it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not getting anything. I mean, nothing. Doesn't seem like boat, these guys, captain are getting any break. Because I don't know honestly what the f I'm even doing here. To take the helm of the saga. I, I won't be coming up for Opie's. Well, that's not what we agreed on. Jake turned his back on his mentor, Captain Sig Hansen. Yeah, it's garbage. Since then, he's endured empty pots. Watch out, you guys. Life-threatening weather. I'm, I'm freaked out. I don't, I don't want to hop haul anymore. Now, the young skipper's resolve is being tested again. Damn it! Not only do I have my wife, my child, and my family to think about, I have five other men and their families and their children to think about. If I don't catch crab. You know, nobody's going to hire me. And nobody's going to want to work for me even if I get hired. So it's a lot of pressure. This sucks! Well, Jake just set all these pots here. Looks like they're going to be all blank. This is not the way to get respect from your crew, by the way. With blank pots hitting the deck. Stack all these on. We're stacking out, getting the heck out of here, going far away, hopefully. Jake makes the call to stack and move. Another empty. Oh. This whole string is bust. I'm going to have to uh, come up with a game plan here. Come on. I don't really want to call SIG, but I'm not going to hold my pride at the expense of the crew. I'm going to have to get on my knees and call daddy. Twenty-five miles southwest. One hundred eight foot Cape Caution. 
Look at the size of this one. Oh my god. Heads up, heads up. Hold on, Jerry! Holy shit, man, that, that thing just rocked the boat. Some pretty big waves still out here. Captain Wild Bill Bukrowski and crew trudge through a 36 hour grind. But the weather's just, it's not letting up again today. It's be again today. I'm sorry they're getting wet. But I could conceivably do this. If we get through this today, no breakdowns, be it people, machinery, we're gonna go for it. Nineteen-year-old Greenhorn John Walchek is feeling the pain of the ten-day marathon trip. It's just so freaking hard. Not a damn easy thing about it. We're gonna do this if it kills you. What's that fire? What's that fire? I know the guys are beat. I mean, literally, they're banged up, beat up. And I know the layman would say, "Well, just stop fishing." The weather is crazy. Well. It's not that kind of industry. Not letting up. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Big curler. Heck no! Oh. Wow. Everybody okay? Keep your eyes open. These waves out here are like the height of a three-story building. Now watch the rail, guys. Watch the rail. I just have to stay tuned, tuned up, amped up. It's, it's my job. The travel is good. Yeah, I'm leaving it to launch. Last one. It'll be about 40 minutes. Definitely time for a coffee. Turn around, get ready to go. Hands are a little sore. Yeah. You know what that's called? What? It's called the claw, my friend. Uh -huh. The claw. Your hands kind of get stuck like this. We're gonna bake, do those clips. Stop. Oh man, toughen up. Eat some concrete and toughen up. We're gonna fill this before we go in. If it kills you guys. How's that, how's that for a motivational speech? The sleepies all of a sudden. That won't do. On a run between strings, the crew grabs some shut eye. And so does the captain. <laughs> 